Hello again. In the last video, we see how to uh, create configurations by using versioner. So for, by now you should be able to manage your projects uh, using the tool. But uh, there is a still a problem. Each time we create a release, that creates a new method in a class and that class is in a package and that package needs to be commit uh, as uh, needs to be commit along with any other change that we that, that we do. This tool as it as is right now do not solve the problem that we still need to go to Monticello as you can see now and commit one by one all the dirty packages that we have. Uh, why is like that? Uh, is is an historical problem that we have not been able to manage un, to to fix until now, because now we already have projects that defines all the dependencies. So when we apply a change, it's very common that uh, we modify several packages along uh, all the project that we are doing. Uh, each change uh, needs to be committed then separately uh, in, in a very uncomfortable way. But we can also uh, take benefit of the fact that the, these configurations already define the project and their dependencies. And we can use that to enhance the way we release a new version. Let's suppose that these three packages that I have here modified define a new functionality in Zodiac that I, I want to add. This is already test and I want to publish a new version. Uh, then I come here and I'm going to open this uh, and with a right button I can say commit patch version or commit minor minor version or major version. This is respecting semantic version and conventions. Uh, so let's say that we added, uh, we added uh, something to fix a problem in Zodiac here. This opens a secondary browser from versioner that collects, collects all the information in the a configuration that we, we made, uh, he goes through the dependent projects and collect all dirty packages. So right now I could say, okay, I have the version 1.0 and I'm going to create a patch version, which is the 1.0.1. .1. And since I applied uh, changes to uh, sync, this will generate also a new version of sync in a in a uh, creating a new patch also here. So we can also commit every, everything all together without much problem. But for example, let's suppose that I made a patch in Zodiac, but uh, in sync I needed to add added a new functionality that, that that things in semantic versioning that uh, that we need to apply a new minor version, not a patch. So we can come here and modify by double clicking here. We can say, no, this is going to be the uh, 0.2 version. So I can more or less modify the behavior of my commit. Uh, it's not a uh, that I can modify everything, but I can modify that. Also, if we see, I'm going to enlarge this window to see the repository destinations, and we see that different changes goes to their uh, defined repositories. They are not going to be all along together. They are going to be to the repository defined in the configuration. This is very important because then we can keep our projects in, in their repositories without interfering, without needing to join all everything in the, uh, 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 to put all the configurations. I also can add a comment 
test for tutorial, for example, that will be applied to all of the things that I will uh, commit. For example, now I will commit. He takes he he takes some time because it's a gopher script, but and it's publishing and well, voila, it's finished. He opens at the end the last configuration because uh, this is the operation that we we actually wanted. We wanted to, uh, to create a new configuration of Zodiac. It also committed all. And in case and in case you want to force a new version just because uh, you can still uh, apply it even if there is no changes there. But this is just one part. Now, uh, now we can also use this tool to commit uh, just atomic changes without making a release because many times what we do uh, is to concentrate many commits until we have uh, something that we believe that is, uh, is good to make public and just then we made a configuration. So, but we still want to uh, commit all the package together. Let's suppose, let's do that. Let's apply a couple of uh, modifies random. I'm going to add a method. Do me here in sync. Let's another for here. And let's add in zodiac one, two, just and let's come back to the uh, to, to the commit tool and let's refresh and it will show all again but we do not want to publish a new version of the configuration we just want to publish uh, uh, the packages so we can come here configure and say no we, we will not commit project just commit dirty packages this calculates and it shows just that. So I will add uh, uh, a comment here and I will execute this. This commits and now if I come here and I open my repository, I can see that I have my configuration of sync, which also has an advantage. Uh, it is in the version that I just published, there is also the, 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 the message that I committed. It's not just in the Monticello packages, it's also in the versions of the configuration. So we enhance our documentation. We have, we have, of course, a commentary here, and we have all the versions with, for example, a here, I think the appropriate version numbers and commentaries. So we could keep using this window just to commit or uh, atomic, uh, or atomic changes. And after we could just say, okay, let's commit a new project and do it. So with this, we believe that we have enhanced a lot uh, uh, the way of handling projects in Faro. Uh, so now you can create your own configurations and you can use them not just for loading, but also for committing your changes. Thank you very much for listening and I hope this this is a, a, a good tool for you. Bye.